Sandra, and I'm the Wicked Reseller. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I'm an online reseller. Uh, what I do is I buy items, usually vintage, uh, and I sell them online for profit. And I source them from places like thrift stores, estate sales, yard sales, things of that nature. Uh, and I'm currently selling on eBay, Etsy, Macari, and now Grailed. Um, so this weekend I didn't, did not do any filming. Uh, Rebecca's brother and his fiance were going to come, uh, and pay us a visit and hang out with us. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, he was feeling under the weather, so they couldn't make it. Uh, which was a little bit of a bummer, but, you know, we want him to be well. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Saturday was uneventful. We just kind of chilled out. Uh, Rebecca went to a, uh, a work thing Saturday night in, uh, in Palm Springs. And, uh, Sunday, Sunday was exciting. Uh, we got with our realtor and, uh, toured a few houses. Uh, and there was one that we, uh, one that we liked. Um, we're still kind of mulling on that and doing some research before we uh, proceed with anything. But uh, and there's um, there's another one that we want to look at that the owner wasn't available. So we're we're hoping that maybe we can go see that um, sometime this week. So uh, fingers crossed uh, that we that we find an amazing house. Uh, but for now, the search continues. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, as, on a sad note, uh, our foster uh, kitten Rory was ready to go back to the shelter to get her last uh, round of shots and uh, get fixed so that she will be available for adoption and will find her forever family. Uh, sweet girl, still a little timid, but um, it was really an honor to have her in her home and uh, help her be brave so that she can um, she can go on and find a great family um i had four sales uh over the weekend I wanted to go over those real quick uh the first one was i sold that uh detroit red wings uh jersey uh that was in one of the yesterday's fits box boxes that i had uh purchased uh, that sold for uh, $30. Um, another of Lakers uh, s uh, sweatshirt, hoodie sweatshirt, uh, that sold for $40. And I think that was also in my yesterday Fitz box, I believe so. Um, I sold a, um, a crop uh, top t-shirt uh, from... I want to say it was from late 70s, early 80s, and it had uh, this kind of feminist saying on the front about how um, women can do the same thing that guys could do. They just have to, um, I forgot what it said. Anyway, it was along the lines of uh, anything you can do, I can do better type of thing. Um, that sold for $25. Uh, and I got that in an estate sale. I think I paid maybe a quarter for it. Um, and then I sold a Hawaiian shirt that Aunt Mai had given me. Uh, it was a shirt that, uh, that she had worn. A uh, really cool, uh, a black background with, um, I believe Birds of Paradise on the front. Um, really great design on it. Uh, that sold for $35. Uh, and I do, um... I did accept an offer on a uh, on a ball cap uh, for fifty dollars, uh, but I'm still waiting on payment. So hopefully they pay soon. Uh, that would be nice. Um, I'm not doing any sourcing this week, uh, and that is because uh, we are going to LA. We're going to go visit. We have. Uh, two friends there. Uh, Rebecca went to a high school uh, with uh, with one of those friends. With uh, her name is Amber, uh, and she is also she also loves vintage things, and so does her boyfriend Lincoln. 
Uh, and we like to go and hang out with them. Uh, LA is, is not that far from us. We're about two hours away. Um, so we like to go visit with them and hang out. Um, so we're going to go, we're going to have dinner, um, at a, a cool Japanese place. And then Sunday, we're going to the Rose Bowl Flea. And I'm super excited about that. We've been kind of talking about going, uh, for a while and get our, sorry, <laughs> get our, uh, our schedules together. Uh, so yeah, I'm super duper excited to go to the Rose Bowl Flea. So I'm trying to save any extra money that I have for sourcing, uh, until we go there. So, and she's been several times, so she's familiar with it. Um, and she'll, she'll know what areas to take us in and such. So that'll be cool. So look for that. It won't be, uh, on this video at all. Uh, but it will be on the video that gets released next Monday. Um, I did do a little free sourcing courtesy of Rebecca. Uh, and as you guys may know, especially from watching the Rebecca Reacts video that I had posted a little bit ago, um, she's, she's not a thrifter. She's not a, um, she doesn't, uh, she's not like me. When I pass something on the side of the, uh, of the road, I slow down and I kind of check it out. She doesn't do that. Um, but she went for her uh, went for her walk last night, and she'd been gone for a little bit. And I was doing some work on the laptop, and uh, she called me, and I'm like, "What's going?" Because normally she doesn't. She does her workout, and she comes back. Uh, so <laughs> she's like, "I'm going to hate myself for this, but can you come get me? There's some stuff on the side of the road. I think you'd want." <laughs> So, um, I went, uh, she was just a few blocks away, uh, I went and got her and we loaded up the back of the truck with some, some good stuff. Some stuff that, um, that we're going to use, um, hopefully when we get a, when we get a house, uh, but some other stuff I think I can probably sell and probably do well locally. Uh, so I'm going to take you guys, um, it's down in the garage, I'm going to take you guys down to the garage and uh and we're gonna we're gonna check it out and i'll show i'll show you what we got all right so sorry about the background noise but uh here's one of the first things we got is this up up shade it's definitely been outside it's faded we haven't um tried to uh open it yet and see if it's in working condition um, but it is pretty cool so we can definitely use that especially camping and then on this side I got this pretty cool pull float it's got some um, minor issues and it needs to be cleaned um, but it's uh, it's pretty sturdy uh, that is going to be for personal use um, got this I'm pretty sure it's a bike rack uh, that goes uh, that hooks into your trailer hitch here and goes on the back uh, we won't be won't be keeping this but uh, I'm gonna see how much it might sell for and then probably do uh, Facebook marketplace on that one um, we got a handlebars and again I haven't done any research on this I just saw things that I might could sell locally so we got that one. Um, this trailer hitch. Didn't get it's got some rust, but it's in, uh, in pretty good condition. Again, I'll look it up and price it out and see what I can get on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, another part of the bike, I'm not quite sure. What may have happened to the rest of the, the bike. So 
So we've got another part here. So again, I'll research, find out what it is. Sell it. Oh, that's a little heavy. All right, and then last things, we got these two umbrella stands that are substantial and heavy. Um, they did have, they, had, they have the umbrellas as well, and I'll show you guys that. Um, but they did have uh, like a piece of wood stuck in here to try to stabilize the umbrella. There originally was a cap that went into this, and then you stuck the umbrella through that cap with a smaller hole, and it kept it from moving around, but I think I can just pour some gravel in there and uh, make it stable that way. So we got these two and then these uh, these umbrellas, which are, you probably can't tell, well you can tell a little bit here. This is the inside, that's the original color, and then of course in the desert sun they become faded. Um, oh, I want that to fall. <laughs> um, they become faded, but uh, we can use them as is. I might be able to get some fabric paint and just kind of paint the outside a little bit or just use them like they are as a temporary uh, shade structure. And they work, they open and close. So nothing physically wrong with them. They're just faded on the outside. And if we end up getting a house, uh, and most of the houses we're looking at have their own pools, uh, we like to have uh, some kind of shade out there until we can get uh, something built up to be like a shade structure. So there you have it. That is our roadside treasure. So um, if I have any sales come up today, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. See ya. Hey guys, uh, back again. Uh, it is Thursday, February the 6th, and um, I don't have a whole lot to report reseller related. Been working on doing some listings and some cross posting over to Grailed and Etsy. Um, I, uh, I shut down my Macari for now. I'm just not getting a lot of sales, even though I'm posting over there. And I want to focus on Grail uh, more since I have a lot of men's stuff. Um, yesterday we went and saw two houses, uh, and they were okay, but not uh, not any that we wanted to pull the the trigger on. So the the house hunt continues, uh, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, I did have one sale. I sold to a repeat customer that Goosebumps pillowcase uh, sold for 25 bucks. Uh, so that was a really good sale. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I'm getting some drafts and stuff ready to post automatically over the weekend because we're going into LA to visit uh, with some dear friends. And um, we're gonna go to the, uh, the Rose Bowl fleet. So, that's it. I'm going to wrap up the vlog now. I'm dog sitting, as you can tell from behind me. This is not my house. Um, but I'll have Denali take us out. All right. This is Denali. Uh, he is uh, one of my repeat clients. Um, I've been sitting for him almost a year. Uh, he's a really chill uh, German Shepherd. He just kind of hangs out. Um, he doesn't particularly like to go outside or go for walks, so that's a bit of a challenge. But other than that, he's a great, a great dog. And he's a handsome boy, right? So you're going to tell my subscribers to make sure that they give it a pause up. And that if they're not subscribed, to subscribe and hit the bell. Right, Nolly? He's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. All right, thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.